The world is filled with all kinds of dangerous creatures. We all know to stay away from lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. But did you ever think the most dangerous creatures out there might be small enough to fit inside your purse or pocket? Today we take a look at some of the tiniest but most deadly creatures on the planet. Here are our smallest, most dangerous creatures. Hey guys, this is American Eye, guest host and I'm Tall Tannic. I'm bringing you another great video. Number 12. The Stonefish Here's a fish that is as ugly as it is dangerous. It's not exactly microscopic, but compared to most other horrifying things in the ocean, can you say colossal squid? The stonefish is pretty small. At most, they weigh just 5 pounds and have a body length of 10 to 15 inches. They derive their name from their natural camouflage, which can make them appear to be just another rock buried in the sand. This makes the world's most venomous fish even more dangerous, because an unsuspecting swimmer might never know when they're underfoot. That is until you step on the stonefish. See all those spines on the dorsal fin? Those release neurotoxins into whatever they touch, usually prey, but not uncommonly a human foot or hand. Those Neurotoxins are potent enough to take down a grown human being if left untreated. Oh, and did we mention they can survive outside of the ocean for up to 24 hours? That's right, the world's most venomous fish can sting you even on the beach, so watch out. Number 11. Blue Ringed Octopus If an animal is really, really bright in color, you should automatically know not to touch it. That's Mother Nature's way of saying, stay away. So when an octopus starts aggressively flashing neon yellow and blue at you, there is a 100% chance that you should not go anywhere near it. If you decide to approach the Blue Ringed Octopus, let us tell you first that there is no anti-venom available to save your life. Anti-venom to what, you say? tetrodotoxin and a cocktail of other compounds. That's what. The venom produced by the blue ringed octopus causes nausea, blindness, heart failure, and paralysis. One blue ringed octopus carries enough venom in its body to do away with 26 adults in just a matter of minutes. And in case you forgot, it's an octopus, so the venom is delivered through a seriously terrifying beak. Number 10. Poison Dart Frogs Remember what we said about bright colors? That goes for frogs too. Poison dart frogs are usually bright yellow, deep black, neon blue, rich red, or intense orange, which is lucky for us because without that coloring, they might be impossible to spot. A poison dart frog is usually less than a half an inch long, though some have been known to reach 2.5 inches. Packed in that tiny body is enough batrachotoxin to kill 10 adults and that'll take under 10 minutes. Like the toxin from the blue ringed octopus, there is no antidote. The toxin which they produce from their diets has particular effect on the heart muscles, causing their victims to perish from cardiac arrest. Number 9. Textile Cone Snail Among the most alien of creatures on the planet are snails. On the outside, these snails are beautiful. They are surrounded by a glistening shell that is so ornately decorated that they've earned the name of cloth of gold snails. However, inside that shell is a tiny, tiny monster. Cone snails only grow to be about 3.5 inches, but keep in mind, they've also earned the title of most venomous snail in the world for good reason. They use a single tooth that is covered in microscopic needles to inject their prey with conotoxin. You heard that right, a tooth. This tooth, in fact, is strong and sharp enough to pierce through a wetsuit. Symptoms can take days to appear, but include shortness of breath, paralysis, and respiratory failure. So if you see one of these snails on the beach, make sure the snail is gone before taken as a souvenir. Number 8. Freshwater Snail Speaking of snails, you should probably just stay away from them altogether after you watch this video. Seawater snails aren't the only dangerous ones on Earth. Freshwater snails are known to carry one of the deadliest parasites in the world and infect nearly 250 million people each year in Asia, Africa, and South America. The parasite they carry is a flatworm, which when in the body causes a disease known as schist the disease is particularly dangerous because many people take a long time before they begin to exhibit symptoms, which usually means the parasite has plenty of time to travel from one part of the body to another. Sometimes they even bury themselves into the spinal cord or the brain. Number 7. Wolverine So far we've learned that small animals often have to rely on alternative methods of protecting themselves. Disease, parasites, poisons, and toxins. But here's an animal that relies on pure strength and ferocity to defend itself. The Wolverine. Compared to some other mammals like it, wolverines are fairly small. They weigh between 12 and 50 pounds and average about 3 feet long. They're about the size and you would not want to tangle with one. They can run at a speed of 14 miles an hour and are equipped with very, very serious claws.
claws and teeth. In fact, a single wolverine can take down a grown caribou, so imagine what it could do if it was trying to fight you. Number 6. The Tsetse Fly Name one thing worse than snails? Parasites. The tsetse fly is what's known as an obligate parasite, which means that it's basically a vampire. It feeds off the blood of other animals in order to stay alive. Now that isn't what makes this fly dangerous. It isn't going to drain your blood in a hurry. However, because it feeds from one animal to the next one, it has an unparalleled ability to transmit disease. In particular, the tsetse fly transmits African trinosomasias, or the sleeping sickness. Not a virus or bacteria, a sleeping sickness is actually caused by a microscopic parasite parasite in the blood. Symptoms include anemia, fever, headache, and joint pain in the first stage, confusion, tremors, paralysis, and characteristic fatigue in the second stage. Without treatment, it's 100% fatal. Number 5. Fleas A lot like the tsetse fly, it isn't necessarily the flea that is among the most dangerous critters in the world. Instead, it's what the flea is harboring. Rodent fleas are known to sometimes carry a bacterium called Yersinia pestis. This bacterium is known to cause the bubonic plague and sometimes the septicemic plague. Mnemonic plague is then transmitted through the inhalation of saliva from a person suffering from the aforementioned plague variations. Still with us? The outbreak of the plague in Europe peaked between 1347 and 1351 and was responsible for reducing the entire population of Europe by an estimated 40 to 60 percent. That's as high as 200 million people, and some historians would argue that that number is tame. And if you think the Black Plague is a thing of the past, think again. There was an outbreak recently in October of 2017 in Madagascar with nearly 700 infected. According to the CDC, there are anywhere from 1 and 17 cases reported each year. Number 4. Brazilian Wandering Spider For a spider to be considered a threat to humans, you know it has to be kind of a big deal. Sure, everyone hates spiders. They're creepy with too many eyes and too many legs. They're too fast, they get caught in your blankets and pillows as well. You know the drill. They're scary, but more often than not, they're harmless. Well, not exactly the case for the Brazilian wandering spider. These are scary and dangerous. According to some studies, their bite is capable of delivering a lethal dose to a human being, especially if that human being is a child. Perhaps even more terrifying is that these spiders do not build webs. Instead, they're kind of known as active hunters. They aren't called wandering spiders for no reason. They literally wander on the forest floor and hunt prey at night either by full-on attack or ambush. Number 3. The Pufferfish Remember Tetrodotoxin? It isn't only for the blue-ringed octopus. It turns out a lot of creatures are in possession of this dangerous substance, the pufferfish included. Tetrodotoxin is 1,200 times more deadly to humans than cyanide, and maybe we should just reiterate there is no antidote. When a pufferfish feels it's in danger, it inflates the body, hence pufferfish. However, that's only to ward off predators, and that doesn't always work. So at the same time, it secretes tetrodotoxin onto the skin, making them not only unpalatable, but deadly. In some places around the world, the pufferfish is often served as a delicacy. However, it can only be prepared by chefs who have been trained for three or more years because one wrong move with a knife and the sashimi is contaminated with a neurotoxin. We'll stick to the California rules for now. Thanks. Number 2. The Urukandi Jellyfish An adult Urukandi Jellyfish is only 1 cubic centimeter. It really doesn't get much smaller than that. They're also nearly transparent, so your chances of being able to see and avoid one are almost 0%. And did we already mention that they're one of the most venomous jellyfish in the entire world? They only have it in the waters near northern Australia because that's where all the most dangerous animals in the world are found. Because the jellyfish are so small, it can be difficult to even realize that you've been stung at all until about a half an hour later. But you will most definitely know because when you are stung by one of these jellyfish, the symptoms are collectively known as Urukanji syndrome, which is just as serious as it sounds. Physically, the symptoms include headache, nausea, back pain, and more. Mentally, sufferers have reported a feeling of doom, makes sense. Finally, if a person does not go into cardiac arrest, they can live through Urokanji syndrome, though it can sometimes take up to two weeks for the symptoms to dissipate completely. And number one, mosquitoes. Aside from being the most annoying insect on the planet, mosquitoes top our list as the most dangerous. Like the fleas and tsetse fly we mentioned before in the video, mosquitoes are capable of carrying some pretty gnarly diseases. For example, did you know over 300 million people each year are infected with malaria and dang fever from mosquito bites? That's the entire population of the United States every single year. Of those 300 million, almost 800,000 people won't survive contracting those diseases. And that's only the beginning. Mosquitoes also carry West Nile virus, St. Louis esophilus, and of course, the Zika virus. Every year, mosquitoes are responsible for the highest mortality rate of any other animal, humans included, on the planet. All in all, around 1 million people fall victim to their mosquito bites each year. 
That's pretty terrifying for a creature so small. That's all for me today, guys. But we'll see you next time right here on Taltanic. <laughs>